Hi friends, I thought I would show you how I document my artwork. I have a lot of windows in my studio, fortunately, but that can create a lot of glare, especially for pieces of behind glass or um, oil paintings that have a lot of varnish. So what I wanna do is pick um, an overcast day and I can even do this outside. And I want to make sure that my camera is in a horizontal or landscape position. Sometimes when it's in a vertical position, it creates a little bit of distortion. So um, in this case, I have flipped my canvas so that it is a landscape, even though it's a vertical format. Now, the fact that it's on a tripod, I'm gonna have a lot of stability here, no camera shake, no hand shake. So you can see now I've adjusted my tripod legs and the angle of my camera so that the canvas is sitting perfectly centered in my viewfinder. And that will ensure that I don't have any unnecessary distortion happening and um, no skewed perspectives. Before I start shooting, I definitely want to make sure that I've got a few manual settings established on my camera. And that's really important because um, especially if you are trying to take high resolution images of your work for print or for archival purposes, you want to make sure that the grain is very fine. If it's on an automatic setting, you're just not going to get that quality. For me, I just move it to uh, the program mode and that gives me a fair amount of control. So what I want to do is just move to my settings so that um, I can change the ISO for starters. And I want to ensure that the ISO is as low as possible. And that's gonna give me the finest grain. And then I want to go to my manual focus. The next thing I wanna do is um, choose my F-stop. And when you are documenting, so you can see this little F number here moving along, when you're documenting work, it's good to have it set somewhere between um, seven and 10. So I like to have it at nine. I may sometimes just change the exposure here. Um, I like to bracket my shots, so that means I take one that's a little underexposed and one that maybe is hopefully in the middle and then one that's a little bit higher. Because my screen on my camera and the screen and my computer are not always calibrated exactly the same, I want to um, allow for a little bit of maneuverability in that regard. The last thing I want to do is actually look through the viewfinder with my naked eye to zoom in on the grain. And I can do that uh, for me. I'm just using the ring here, the manual focus ring. Um, but I find that uh, I don't get an accurate reading through the LCD panel, so I'll use the viewfinder. The last thing I do once I have the picture perfectly centered, the lighting and the f-stop at the setting that I want and the manual focus set to a really beautiful grainy finish is I have the function on my camera to tap the screen or to set a timer. I like doing that because rather than depressing the shutter release button where there might be a little bit of vibration, tapping the screen will allow me to take a picture and um, it won't have any impact on the camera itself. If you like these kinds of tips, please like and follow and comment below if you want more information like this.